Copenhagen is a magnificent city with stunning architecture and views. You'll be surrounded by beautiful surroundings and rich Danish history from the time you land at CPH Airport and ride the metro to the city center. This city is said to be the happiest place on the earth. Hey, everyone, welcome to Grandeur Travel. From enjoying a movie at Cinematheque to enjoying the panoramic view of Copenhagen from the Round Tower, here are some of the things to do in Copenhagen. So, let's get into it. Enjoy a movie at Cinematheque, the Danish cinema's national center, where you may view films, browse the bookshop, and enjoy a post film snack in the on site cafe. Each month, the Cinematheque's three theaters provide a colorful program of more than 70 films, many of which are in English or are subtitled in English. There is also one of the world's greatest collections of film and television literature, a national collection of stills and posters, and a videotheque with over 1,500 movies in the catalog. Given that Danish cinema and television are currently having a moment on the global scale, a visit to the Copenhagen Cinematheque is even more tempting. Experience peace within Bagsvaard Church, a small Lutheran church in Bagsvaard on the northern edge of Copenhagen, designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon. Famous for the Sydney Opera House. This was his first piece following the Sydney Opera House. As you might expect, the structure is regarded as a wonderful masterwork of contemporary church architecture. In a stunning show of form following function, it combines concrete, aluminum, ceramics, and a curving roof. It appears to float and then gradually drop back to earth inside its beautiful, naturally illuminated interior. This is an architectural enthusiast's paradise. Visit the Rosenborg Castle. Copenhagen is filled with castles and palaces. Still, the Rosenborg Castle stands out not as another example of Christian IV's many architectural projects in the Flemish Renaissance style, but for the objects housed within the exhibit of royal Danish culture from the late 16th to the 19th centuries. The crown jewels of Denmark, now state property and open to the public since 1838, are on exhibit here, along with the crown regalia, coronation carpet, and throne chair of Denmark. The walls are also adorned with 12 tapestries celebrating the Danish king's triumphs in the Scanian War. Mingle with locals at the Husset KBH Culture House. Husset KBH, Denmark's first and largest cultural house, was established in 1970. It is housed in three historic townhouses and a separate disused warehouse. Husset organizes around 1,000 varied events per year on five different levels, which also feature a theater and a lovely cafe where you can play board games. You never know what you'll discover in this sort of thing. Husset is everything from boring, with live music, theater presentations, alternative cinematic flicks, spoken word, and stand-up comedy. An impressive venue for both new and established acts. Whether you speak Danish or English, this location has something for everyone. Husset frequently hosts free events for folks on a tight budget. This distinctive cultural house has a wonderful legacy spanning several decades and is very important to many Copenhageners. Locals enjoy it today because of its colorful history, cultural diversity, and music programs, and they will be thrilled you made it here. Spend the day at the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art. The Louisiana Museum of Modern Art is one of the world's foremost museums of modern art. It finds a wonderful blend of nature, architecture, and art on the shore overlooking the sea. It is regarded as a landmark in modern Danish architecture, located 25 miles north of Copenhagen with a breathtaking view over Sweden. Visiting here is an unforgettable experience that draws visitors from all over the world and ensures Louisiana's all-year attractiveness. Every year, approximately 10 distinct shows are hosted here, including a notable selection of contemporary and modern art paintings, sculptures, and videos dating from World War II to the present. The sculpture garden between the two wings of the building overlooking the sea is especially beautiful. In fact, it is Denmark's most visited museum. Expect the unexpected at Cisternern. Cisternern is a unique, underground exhibition venue that is both spooky and beautiful. The location where art merges with the physical surroundings. Cisternern has been working on the dream of establishing a strong venue for reflection and engagement with an ever-changing assortment of temporary exhibits since 2014. The merging of underground architecture, history, and environment that occurs here in conjunction with site-specific world-class art exchanges is completely unique and difficult to define. Cisternern deviates from standard exhibition conventions, art and architecture merge, and you're not just gazing at art, you're fully immersed in the atmosphere. Indulge your inner bookworm at the Politikens Bogle bookstore. Copenhagen has an outstanding collection of independent bookshops, the most of which sell titles in English, 
but the oldest and most popular is Politikin's Bogle. This two-story literary temple, conveniently placed in the city center just off City Hall Square, has a long and rich tradition. Politikin, one of Denmark's largest newspapers, was once housed in the building. Still, it was given new life as a tiny bookstore in 1915. Only a few years later, it was divided into local and international sections, continuing the practice. There is an exceptional and unusual assortment of everything from English classics to crime novels, visual arts, and English publications relating to Danish history. Cozy armchairs, bright windows, and peaceful areas make this an inviting spot to settle in and shop, while literary events and a young Dane's fame ensure Politikin's Bogle is constantly fun, lively, and full of life. Take a dip in the sounds at the Kastrup Sea Baths. The Kastrup Sea Bath is one of Copenhagen's great architectural marvels. Kastrup Sea Bath, designed as a modern outdoor swimming facility for the general public, has transformed this derelict brownfield site into one of Copenhagen's most engaging, instantly recognizable, and successful leisure destinations. The Kastrup Sea Bath, informally known as the Snail, consists of a pool cage and a new beach, as well as diving boards, restrooms, and changing rooms. The Kastrup Sea Baths are found offshore in the Orsund Sound, ensuring you have panoramic views of Saltholm Island and Sweden. A truly Nordic architectural treasure, and a magnificent free attraction in Copenhagen. Unleash your inner child at the historic Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens, founded in 1843, has something for everyone with four thrilling roller coasters, including the world's oldest wooden roller coaster, 28 other rides, and a slew of cultural attractions, in addition to their summer fireworks shows, Halloween Fest in October, and Christmas holidays in December. Tivoli Gardens is the world's second oldest operating amusement park, after Dyrehavsbakken in nearby Klampenborg, and Europe's fifth most visited theme park. Enjoy the panoramic view of Copenhagen from the Round Tower. The Round Tower, a 17th century tower and Europe's oldest operating observatory, is also the greatest spot to gain a spectacular 360 degrees panorama of Copenhagen. And in a city as flat as Copenhagen, this can help you find your bearings. It was built by King Christian IV who, as you will soon discover, virtually made everything famous in Copenhagen. There is also a fascinating library hall halfway through that has now been converted into an exhibition space for local art, history, and science, and an observatory that is still used by amateur astronomers but is only exposed to the public on rare occasions. So, what are your travel plans for Copenhagen? Please let us know in the comment section down below. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.